Last time on Disco Elysium. No, we don't have recap. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not editing that much. Uh, welcome back to Disco Elysium. I don't know if the audio is correctly balanced. We're gonna just roll with it and see what happens. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I. Uh... Oh wow! You can't take the beer bottle from the floor. That's nice. Is this one real? No. Can I take this one? Oh, okay. I just gotta watch for because it doesn't highlight them for some reason. So if this, I can pick this up. Which is nice, you know, I'm cleaning this for God, God, God. Um, I don't think this is taking time, is it? No, okay, cool. Um, it's been a little while since I've played, um, but... Last time... This fan has two ch- Or has it been consigned there as punishment? Right, I forgot about You feel fan. as though this creature is your friend. You swear, <gasps> catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning, the necktie is no longer contained. Okay, moving that volume down a little bit. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Yes, well, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see about this tie. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, it's just on me. Plus one Inland Empire. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Wow, though, this look. Oh my god. Was this a fishnet shirt? Insane mesh tech top is funny. Plus one drama. We got plus one Espirit Decor. Espirit Decor. Uh, plus one Inland Empire interfacing. Plus one Composure minus one Suave Affair. Uh, suave, 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 uh, mm. Okay, so if I need to use Suave Fair, Rico Suave Fair, I'll just uh, let's do that, I guess. Is that about it? I guess so. Um, yeah, okay. On the back doesn't take away from my. No, okay. I still hate Frit with three S, three Ts. It's just the worst. Um, what day are we on? Was that was last episode all in one day? It was. Holy shit. Um, wow. Okay. Who wants to talk? What's up, man? Morning. Morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The Union muscle turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Are these the men Gap told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. Uh, sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. One loose thread less to worry about. And one big problem to replace it. To find out who is in the Union... Oh, okay. Let's roll. Uh, let's just ask I mean questions. Governable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCA being here. They prefer to be policed by the Union. These men here, men who drink beer for breakfast, mm. there's talk of an armed wing of the Union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for said policing. I think it's them. There's so many of them. Do we need reinforcements? That would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debarders Union. The In fact, way. even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. <laughs> so let's keep a cool head, okay? Roger, Roger. He's not exaggerating about that mortal danger. Just calmly factoring it in. Your fists clench and your pulse rises uncomfortably. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Good. A power move. Purposefully concentrate on something else first. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. <laughs> Alright, take art. Can I help you? Uh, no. 
Oh, hey, what's up? Just a moment. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. The lady is distressed. Perhaps something more upbeat might cheer her up. Hi, hey, Lena. What's kicking? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. Hmm. A faint smile tells you she appreciates the effort, but at the moment her mind is on more serious matters. The Union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. What's wrong with the phone then? The manager was vague about it. Why would he be vague about phone problems? This is something to look into later. Ask God, maybe. Why'd you need to use the phone anyway? To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night, but they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Hmm. Okay, has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets of reeds. Something sweet in it, sunlight. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still in the whirling in rags. But you have more important things to worry about. Um, what's this expedition? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? Wait, what's today? The water lock. That was broken. Could this be it? Uh, the water lock is broken. They're probably just stuck oh over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Probably just some technical problems. Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. <laughs> and if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. Yeah, I'll let him know. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, tell me about the rare insect. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. I have never heard it pronounced that way. Minutiae. Minutiae. I would just say minutia. Hmm. Anyway. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. Okay, Kim. Uh, of course, dear. That's all for now. Hey, Gart. Can I help you? Yeah. Another no, thing. Can. Great. I love those. Uh, the phone line's there? Yes. And the phone company is taking its sweet time sending someone to fix it. Losers. That's pretty strange. It's not strange, it's inconvenient. Was there foul play? Who told you that? Lena. Fine, yeah. It looked like someone had messed with the wiring. It was shortly after the hanging, but I don't know if it's at all related. Plenty of assholes around here who aren't murderers. If you do find out who cut the line, though, let me know so I can forward them the repair bill. Hey, why can I go what in the kitchen? You, cook now? That's none of your business. But I'm really hungry. You want me to make an exception for you? You're not even a hostile guest till you pay your outstanding bills. Excuse Fine. me. Okay, the kitchen is closed until 1pm because the cook is working. 
You can snoop around after that, if you must. Yes? I... I really do want to talk about the thing, but it's fine. Ah. You see a heavy steel door with... Fine. Hey, what is that? Oh, money. Anything else I can touch? No. Okay. Um... So, the things I have on my itinerary for today are talk to Everard and deal with this. Now, I have a feeling that Everard... Uh, here, I'm going to do a hard save. Why, why can't I do a new save? Oh, this is a new save, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but I... Talking to Everard, I think I need leverage. I don't want to ask him for anything, because uh, he's clearly a shithead. So, we're gonna try to do this first instead. Oops. Hello. Let me handle this. You seem a little different today. Less hospitable. You are far from home, Lieutenant. This isn't a district known for its love of self-proclaimed militiamen. Hmm. You're not a gardener. That's right. I'm not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. I mean, no trouble. I'm here to do my job. It's not all. a muscle moves in her face, but her eyes trace yours, stern and perceptive. You are looking for Titus Hardy, who you think has information on a murder the RCM is investigating. You want I to am? interview him? Uh, did I know that? <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, pick up smokes and smoke them. Dice from the dice maker. Oh. Oh, whoops, I forgot to do that. Money for rent, smoke on the balcony. Time after 2100. Body down, tattoo, gun. Badge, who made the call? I thought I figured that out. Oh, no, she said she didn't make the call. Hmm. Um. Um. Hmm. Okay. That's sure. Titus. Talk to him, but know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming, nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. What's your role in all this? Like I already told you, right. I'm a legal counselor. What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are no one. Oh, what are you going to do to me? What are we going to do to you? The union isn't going to do anything to you mm. it is not a crime syndicate it is a labor organization mm -hmm. god damn right it is if anything it is the rcm who do things to people but we digress all right i'm gonna go talk to him all right 
in a bowl or spit in it. Oh, I can't read. Hmm. Oh, it's fine. This is where you say your bit. Okay. Detective. Mm. I, I just think it's, I think it would be funny, but I'm not going to do that. We need to talk, to talk about the hangman out back. Oh, this is about him. A real looker, that one. You're sure taking your time, waiting for him to get ripe and pretty for you, huh? Oh, he was a real pretty boy by now. Real hot stuff. Letting out that pretty boy smell. Time to go to work in the shit factory! Easy, boys. These janitors have a hell of a job cut out for them. I mean, I wouldn't go in there for a million. You might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. These guys are so macho, they're ready to confess to first degree murder. Ask if it was them. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yeah, why? Because we took it from the harbor where we work. Then we went out back and used it to hang him. Okay, sorry, I had some interruptions there. This is technically the second part of this video. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, yeah. As he speaks, his fists contract, going through the pulling motion again, savoring it. Mm. We did this together, all of us, until he was dead. That's why there's a container belt around his neck. Ah, uh, see, so you, you just confessed to a murder. God damn right. I. No. These seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened so that you don't waste any more of your time. Hmm. Hmm. You just murdered him just like that. No remorse. How many people have you sent to the Shays? Ever felt remorse for them? Or send them to reunion to rot for 20 years for life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of these will get the right response. 
But this one's probably oh, closest. So you are just a simple, well-meaning man, eh? Ever been in solitary? Prison is a charter. That's what it is. So they're saying things that I agree with. <laughs> uh, in terms of this part. Solitary confinement. And at a young age, nonetheless. So is hanging a man slowly without breaking his neck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Uh, why did you kill him? How did you kill him? I think if I... Sorry, um, messages happen, you know? Okay, um, let's see. I'm not a professional. I don't, I've never made, I barely get views. I don't make money. Uh, okay, so who called the shots last night? Um, why did you kill him, I think? Why? Yeah. Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out alive in my town. Uh, so he was a mercenary. That's it. I end. He stepped out of line. Mm hmm. What kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Seminine written all over him. Ex Oranis Special Forces. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. This one has a special gripe with him coming here. Hmm. I can't prove it. Eugene. But I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hire merc shit like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. How did you even know he was Special Forces? Because one night he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm RNE's goddamn Special Forces, and I'm going to fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some RNE's paratrooper song. And said he's gonna fuck everyone. Hmm. Well, you know, sometimes you have to declare your intent and then see uh, what comes of it. You know. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did right there, like some kind of animal. Right, but what did he actually do wrong? Wrong. He harassed women, raped one, harassed workers, threatened to kill some as a warning. Mm -hmm. There's a slight unease in him, suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. To kill us all, if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. This doesn't sound like a really good mercenary. Yeah, I mean, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of ours mid-karaoke. Right there on the stage. Mm. You grab someone? Yeah. This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl. Young. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Was this the same girl who was sexually assaulted, raped, he said? Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Okay. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? Okay, but then who did he rape? That's a very serious allegation. No. You're not getting the name. That's a Martinez matter. And I'm not discussing it with you clowns. Hmm. How did you... 
Hmm. Hmm. This might get me there. You don't have to answer any of his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. Hmm. How long have you known the Known victim? him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Isn't that, that guy? That's not the father from, uh, <laughs> uh, Shameless. Yeah! Who do you think we are? Who are you to think that you can walk a road that no one ever walked before? Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier? The representative for White Pines? The same company you are striking against? No. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? This is where he tries to sow discord between you two. Because he knows the company is responsible for bringing the mercenaries into town. Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last <laughs> questions. I mean, I literally only have last questions. Um, who called the shots? Are you deaf? There will be no singling mm -hmm. anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? No, but seriously, who calls the shots around here? <laughs> who do you fucking think does? Hmm. I thought she it did. wasn't a question, dickwad. How fucking stupid are you? This asshole is worse than... Titus runs the Hardy Boys, genius. That's why we're called the Hardy Boys. Ain't that right, fellas? I think you got your answer, Mr. Law. Yes, there are some administrative differences. But on that night, they all acted as one man. <laughs> This, this is interesting because it's like this isn't a phoenix right matter which i you know phoenix right is, is i like phoenix right i like phoenix right for for its own reasons and for the own thing that it is um but this is interesting because it 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 um brings together what law might actually look like in a place like this in a place where the where in a place where sending the police is an overextension of your authority in a lot of ways, right? Like, um, like, uh, like Kim says, it's like, there might even, not even be a war if both of them get killed. Also, I love how close he's standing to me. Um, yeah, and, and so it's like, we're here, we're trying to get a confession, but it almost won't matter because we have an example of what will happen, right? That's, I find that super interesting. How did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he got real still. Wasn't that obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? Can you give us a few more details? Did you muffle him? We haven't heard any reports of screams. Titus. You don't have to clarify anything. We overpowered him. Dragged his unconscious body to the tree. Put a noose around his neck. And hanged him till he was dead and steady. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, and you fucks. Hmm. Wasn't he a trained killer from the uh, RNA Special Forces? How did you overpower him? With numbers, asshole. How do you think? You're right, Lizzie. Oh shit. I've done enough explaining here. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Where did this overpowering happen? Weren't you fucking listening? The fucker came to our bar. It happened right here. Mm, there we go. I got some more on this. Okay. Alright, let's roll. Action. Mm. They're admirably, surprisingly composed. The entire room. 
given how many questions you've lobbed their way. All of them? Maybe one of them is fidgeting? Well, this one. But he's always fidgeting, so don't get your hopes up. Right. I have other questions. Like what, copper? So what are we going to do now? Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent -a cop is gonna hear from us, real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. rent -a cop So that's what this is about. He doesn't see you as his equals. Forget about their games. You've mapped out the characters. Reading the footprints in the yard should be easier now. Hmm. No, no, no. As here. He the boys are too eager to please him to keep their mouths shut. You're going to get a good head count here. Just wait. Okay. Yeah! You fuck with the Hardy boys, you fuck with Titus Hardy! Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. Yeah, Dennis, calm down. No one's fucking you, you stupid fuck. Let Dennis enjoy his fucking, man. We don't mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not even being fucked, Dennis. Easy, fellas. A little fat fabric. We got company. Let's see what brings the cop around. Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. Picture what? Of the actors here. You could take another look at the tracks in the mud on the crime scene. Compare it to these guys. All right. That went well, I think. Um, in the past, in the past, in the past game, no, in the past save, I guess. I um. On the past save, I had um. Oh it's, oh, it's 8 a.m. Okay, I was like, why is it so late? It's not, it's early. Where are the footprints? Over there. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Vizcal says go for it. That's funny. That's just your name for... Eight oh, pairs thank God. of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Where else have we seen a gang of men in work boots? That's right. The Hardy Boys in the mess hall of whirling in rags. One by one. One. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Just like Titus was wearing in his booth, this is the big dick. Titus Hardy. The one with the ball cap on his head. <laughs> Uh, uh, interesting. Is it? They didn't even bother to change boots. Putting them on the scene is easy. Maybe even too easy. I see. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Either the blonde muscular guy, Glenn, or the young guy with a plectrum around his neck. I still don't know what that means. Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 43. The inked banger, perhaps. I thought that was Badger. Four, I read that wrong. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Theo. 
the old smoker. You think you even see a tiny fleck of cigarette ash inside the print. Five, another standard work boot. Reinforced toes. Number 44, same as before. Either the musician, Eugene, or the muscle-bound blonde, Glenn. Six, light as air. Same make of boot, but number 41. Small like a rat, shanky. I should have gotten this earlier. Better late than never, detective. The whole world is dark and the tracks burn in it with strange beauty. Don't Seven, rest. the glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. The imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Fat Angus, carrying something? Eight, another standard work boot. Number 44. Oh. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole. The right sole is smoother, more worn. Curious. A missing eighth hardy boy. Seven, Seven sets of tracks, right? The hardy boys were here. Eight, actually. That's all? Interesting. Then one of them seems to be missing. Anything else out of the ordinary? One small, 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 well, sorry. One soul smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the missing Hardy boy. Wonder who he is. Oh, this one's easy. Way too easy. Oh. It's a driver. A driver would wear down the right shoe before the left. The accelerator's on the right. With a piece of sandpaper glued to the throttle. Which means that the missing lady driver was also present at the lynching? That's it. She's the old soul. Hmm. She's also the one running the drug trade. Interesting. Now we know who is the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Hmm. This would fit what Joyce told us, but I don't want to make any assumptions. Understood. We should still go and see what Titus Hardy has got to say on the matter. This might throw them off, work in our advantage. So, what else? Uh, heavy one, 200 kilogram. How old do you think these tracks are? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame yeah. provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal heaven. Oh. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last warm day. Wow. Good call. Can Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. Hmm. Okay. Prove your authority. You have the gain authority in this investigation. Also involved with the drug trade, which links to the Hardy Boys. You would tie sense to say about it. Okay. What do we got with this here? Um. What if I up shivers again? Hmm. Yeah, let's match shivers with the. Oh wait, hold on. Uh. What about a thought cabinet, though? I only have one more, right? So if I put one here... Well, do I have any that I have? They're just, like, lying around? Um... I don't, right? All of my things are slotted in. This is at 29%, so... I don't know. Let's, let's do stat. Let's do a stat, and then when we're at seven, we can do it. Except changes and close. Okay. Kuno's still here. Kuno's got this.
All right, let's go back in. Mm. Hey, Hardy. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Absolutely not. Mm. Guess what? I'll talk to you about I've, I've connected you to the local drug trade. Like hell you have. There is no local drug trade. This place is as clean as a rifle. Go back to Jamrock and ask the local junkies how clean your streets are in Precinct 41 Kilos. We'll do that. In the meantime, did you know that there's an abandoned lorry at the intersection that was used to move raw ingredients for drugs from Terminal B to Jamrock? The person driving it was present at the hanging. It was one of you. We've connected the footprints. Detective, do you want to deliver the coup de grace? No, the thunder is his. Leave it to the lieutenant. Mm. You've earned it. Thank you. You're right, Titus. There is no local drug trade because it's all controlled by you. You're the drug trade. That's a mighty interesting theory. I guess that's what you would need to do, theoretically. A big, strong, state-run monopoly would outcompete the runs on the street. Yeah, man. Theoretically, that's what you would do. To get rid of the gangs, the dealers, even some of the junkies. You would need good, trustworthy people to take their place, of course. Hardy men to run <laughs> such a monopoly. For the good of the community, of course. Mm. Uh, hmm. People are always going to do drugs, at least if we have more trolls. Disgusting. You're admitting to profiting off the poisoning of your own people. Boo fucking who? People will always be taking drugs. Might as well do it clean and organized. Yeah, that's what the labor movement is all about. Clean and organized. Theoretically, of course. We're just talking politics here. My answer to your drug accusation is, how dare you? Go fuck yourself. Not quite yet, Mr. Hardy. There were eight sets of prints on the crime scene. There are only seven Hardy boys here. The eighth Hardy, the one who's missing. She runs this thing, right? My answer is fuck off. Mind your own business. There is no eighth Hardy. Finally, you got something out of him. This could prove useful in the future. And here we go. Back to the usual. I know, I know. Fatty walked on all fours. He's so fucking fat, he left two sets of footprints. <laughs> that doesn't even... Go fuck your mom, Dennis. That's more like it, boys. You heard him. It was Angus on all fours. Anything else you need to know? Mm -hmm. Well... Mm, I feel like it. let's just... His friends are coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. My friends. You mean his squad mates from Cronell? Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. Nervous snickering. There's a rush of adrenaline present. Yeah, they're forming some kind of tribunal and they're coming for this you. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing it too. Let them come. The Hardy boys are right fucking here. You heard the man. Right here. We're armed. We got the whole district behind us, and Glenn. Glenn is fucking crazy. Yeah, I will oil him or the machine. The mood is on the rise. They're feeling confident, ready to punch out the whole Merc platoon. Hmm. Hmm. God. 
Hmm. Gone rogue. Big fucking surprise. They hire psycho scum, arm them to the teeth, and let them loose in the city. What do you think is gonna happen? Speaking of being armed, they have automatic rifles. We got weapons of our own. We got Ister 50s, Zilagars. Glenn's got a knock cannon at home. Well, they pierce ceramic armor. I guess we're gonna see, aren't we? Your sake, I hope you're right. Right about what? That a 50 caliber bullet goes through shit? Yeah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I mean, all right, man. All right. What do you mean? Okay. Uh, I mean, okay, you got this. You got the numbers. I mean, okay, I mean, I'll be on your side. Fuck that. Okay, you got one more gun on your side. Once I find mine, I lost it. Okay, must be gunning you down right alongside him. Okay. I mean, okay, they're gonna wipe you the fuck out, Titus. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. Oh, I'm sorry if I harshed your vibe. All he means is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. I, I bet I can. Uh, let's see. Confronted about the drug trade. Fuck it. Let's what do this. What are you talking about, Madman? There's no eighth hardy boy. <laughs> Madman. All here. Or what? You want to be the eighth hardy boy? <laughs> we ain't hiring. Actually, boss, we've been talking, and we think she could maybe. <gasps> You let it slip. You. <laughs> this person Glenn wants to hire, he really respects her. Shut the fuck up, Glenn! I do the talking here. Now what the fuck do you want, cop? Uh, what so the fuck let me get this Cut. straight. There is an eighth hardy boy. It's a she, and you don't like us talking about her? Oh, good job, Clem. That's right. We're not <laughs> talking about this. This is a private hardy boy's matter. Nothing to do with your shit. And you're not cops here. Don't go digging around if you don't want a bullet in the back of your head. I'm watching you. Good. We are all watching each other. Officer, your question. There's no point in pushing it further, he thinks. This is already a victory. We'll learn more about this eighth hardy sooner or later. Okay, I have... Uh, okay, I'm going to take my leave. I'm going to take off now. Okay. Um, so this is, a, this is an authority. This is a white check, which means I can retry it. Um, I truly don't want... Well, is authority part of my... No, authority is like... Wait. Oh, it is part of my thing. Um, let's see. I think the jacket gives me more authority, right? Uh, oh wait, it's plus a spirit of core and shivers. Wait, what does my what does this jacket give me? Wait, why, why aren't I wearing this? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Look at this outfit. I'm dying. Okay, conceptualization, logic. These glasses have minus authority. That's fair. Visual calculus. Oh, I should have put those on. Doesn't matter now. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back uh, to this. I, maybe this episode's only gonna be talking to the Hardy Boys. Wow. To the, the, the wait, they're not called the Hardy Boys, are they? The heart. Is that what they're fucking called? Um, how the wait? Okay, can I call you to the thingy? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. I'll try this again. Whatever she says, it can't hurt you. You're a different person now, stronger, <laughs> and all right, maybe not healthier. But it's a bonus 
that you've drunk so hard you can't remember any of your past relationships. Oblivion's the ace in your corner. Um. So I guess I can't back There's out. There's a light buzz as you press the doorbell, waiting for her to answer the call. It's cold outside, and you can hear the wind blowing into the speaker. A strange metallic taste fills your mouth as you stare at the intercom. Yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Have you come to place an order? Last time there was confusion. My God. Here come the bad vibes again. Relax. Distance yourself from it. Please don't hang up. It's you. My God. I didn't think I would hear your voice again. Wait. Is she... Are you repeating your words? Michelle. Just please. Why did you really call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. You think it's funny deceiving a police officer? Uh, doesn't matter what you say. Just I say you're just going to continue repeating. The voice right? from the intercom doesn't answer, but you can hear her breathing. Wind blows into your microphone again, crackling and echoing in the box. Your hands are getting cold, and your breathing becomes visible, forming small silvery puffs in the air. Is it over? Can we talk now? Say nothing. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget about you. And then it hits you. You're a recording. She tries again not to cry and still doesn't succeed completely. Her quiet sobs sound old and distant, as if her voice is being played off a wax cylinder. Real or not, your mirror neurons react. It feels painful to be listening to this. Anger boils up in your chest. Go ahead, ancient recording. Cry then. Her sound melts into the static from a long distance phone call. From time to time, you can hear people talking in the distance, but can't make out any words. This is where you hung up the call the last time, but the recording is still going. Keep going. The phone rings in the office with an old-fashioned chime, and someone walks by in a pair of heels. The static is like a warm blanket wrapped around the sounds. Is anyone there? No one replies, but the static grows stronger like rainfall. Then a female voice speaks out, completely different from the one before. Glorious and total somehow, crawling inside your head. For 300 years, I have been here. Volatile, oh, luminous, oh, and human rain. If you want me, you can find me on the beach. Don't ask me about So... Oh, uh, hey Kim. I forgot you're here. I was having a moment. It was a recording trapped in the circuitry from some ancient tenant. This sometimes happens. Shall we conclude here? We have other mysteries to solve. Something weird just happened to me. Don't take this the wrong way, but during our short stint working together, something weird is almost always <laughs> happening to you. <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, all right, empty card. This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Hmm, this button looks new. I wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't been connected yet. Is it the dice makers? It is, yeah. What? Why do I have... Oh. Alright, well that happened. Uh, it was real and it changed me. Um, Didn't expect that. Well, I solved the mystery, I guess. That's something. So is the level up per... Is, whoa, what's up with that? Is the level up price always the same? Yeah, I guess so. It's always a hundred and I'm at fifty. Um Interesting. 
I wonder how many I've leveled up so far. It's like impossible to tell. Uh, yeah, going up here. Also, I still I still don't know what opens that uh, what opens the ice maker. I gotta have a stronger crowbar. Oh boy, I can't see shit. Fine. Oh, I got here quick. Hey. Oh, it's you again. Are you looking for a die? Yeah. Very good. That will be seven real for one custom die. Thank you. One universal die for Wero Untethered. Look at it. It feels icy. Just holding this die in your hand sends a jolt of cold down your spine. Through the dark resin, you can make out a nugget of bone hewn from an alligator's jaw. Sick. Thanks. Okay, now... The standard 24-sided role-playing die can be used to get different sorts of dice. Um, looks like a minuscule blizzard. No, look at the map tab in the journal. We'll see what white checks have been opened. Wait, what? By the dice? What? These are found. Those on those on the those on white are still are available to try now. These ones aren't, but sailing it's rhetoric. Backyard wall, inland empire. Oh, oh, um, huh. Map wall interface challenging. Ice cream maker, physical instrument, measure head, conceptualization medium. Huh. my time at okay now let's let's go back to Selang then why not thanks for this dice oh sorry I didn't mean to click on you bud Kim you Kim you're in the wall Kim you're in the wall <laughs> okay um I love that the game is just like um I love that the game is just like, um, the passwords will turn up eventually. I'm like, when? It wouldn't make sense for this one to turn up. I asked the lady and everything, and she's just like, yeah, I don't know. You know? Truly baffling information. Mm. Okay, where else are we going? We're going down to, oops, nope, going down to Selang. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what this is about. Hey, Selang. Everything still cool here, officer. Read it out the lady driver, hey. Start with a little compliment, then work your way up from there. Oh, this is about money, I didn't this even... This is about business, remember. You seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support oh, a member? Okay. But why, officer? After all this mess, the broken seals, lying to you, come on. Think of it as an investment. An investment? What kind of investment? Or you could not make this about corruption and go with something even wilder. It's an investment in me, a highly experimental human being. My risk-reward ratio is insane. 
Yeah, let's go with I that. I guess it can't be any riskier than speculating in exotic derivatives. How much are we talking about here? Ten real. Ten real is a bargain for that kind of investment. You got it, my man. Cool. Thanks. All right. Well, I, I'm gonna, I can pay guard now. <laughs> I truly didn't mean to shake him down. I just wanted to get the experience. All right, all right. Well, that's done. Um, I can do. I can. I can look at the map wall. Uh. Yeah. Let's 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 just pay. Let's just pay guard. And then uh, call it there, because I have a lot of like just tiny stuff to do. What is this? Nine nine a.m. Okay. Uh, I still have to talk to Everart. I truly don't want want Everart to like loop loop me into something. Be really annoying, you know. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Gart. Can I help you? Yeah. Help the twenty real. Yep. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, Ooh, you'll experience. need another 20 real tomorrow. Yep. How could anyone forget asshole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining me. This has been fun. I really missed this game, and I'm happy to be back in it and have the, the rust uh, sanded off of me by the Hardy Boys. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.